Taco. It's a little bit hot in here. Let's ah. take off your clothes. No problem uh, at all. Let's go. So, the second rehearsal. How did it feel? How did it go? It was awesome. I was enjoying every single one, every single second of it. Uh, and also, hi Tobiak, I'm happy to see you. <laughs> no, so I was enjoying myself on stage and I think we, we had a lot of fun, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I, it looks like you were enjoying it more than the first time. That's correct, but I think the first time for me, uh, I can talk for you that, guys, but the first time for me was just, you know, taking it all in. The, the big arena, the whole, like, area and, and the whole uh, stage. Tonight was just, today, it was just enjoying each other and, and uh, the, the routine. Uh, so next time, we'll just enjoy the whole show, I think. Wow, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, after this rehearsal, now you're ready for the semifinals. This is good enough? What do you think? I think it's good enough. I mean, I had a lot of fun out there. But of course, we're still in rehearsals. Uh, so there's a lot of adjustments needs to be done. Uh, I need to go to bed after this, but after words, I think we're going to go to bed. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we've been having fun. I've been, uh, I've been doing, uh, you know, interviews and homework and stuff like that. Uh, so I think it's just keep on uh, resting the voice, resting my, myself, and just uh, so we're ready for the big day. Great. Yeah. Okay, let's do some questions and start with some questions from people who are in our online press uh, center. Hi there. Uh, thank you for sending in all your questions. Um, hi, this is a question from Martijn, from Eurovision Artist. You are originally from Congo. Are people in Congo aware of you being participant in the Eurovision Song Contest and do they support you? Oh, that's an interesting question. I'm actually not sure. I just know one person that is really excited about this and that's my father who actually lives, uh, he still lives in, in Congo uh, and he's really excited and he's been, uh, you know, writing and we've been talking and he's always like, when can I vote? And I'm, I'm like, well, I don't think you can vote, but I, <laughs> I know that you're, you're with me in here, so, yeah. Uh, great. Another question from um, Anton from, from U G E S C Rus. Eurovision Song Contest is a challenge or a competition for you? <laughs> what well, again? I didn't hear the question. Is the Eurovision Song Contest a challenge or a competition for you? Ooh, I think for me, it's it's an opportunity. I mean, we we are here uh, to unite. I mean, Eurovision is is here to unite us, both musically, culturally. Uh, you know everything. We we get to to hang out with Norway on a hotel. They're crazy, but they're, they're, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> and so, um, of course, it's a challenge because everything is new. It's a big stage. Uh, I'm a, I'm a small person. Yeah, I hope. Uh, and it's like it's 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 an opportunity to just show every 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 country to show their best like selves and their best um, their best uh, performances and unite. Great. Yeah. Hi Tissa, this is Rory Gannon. This is Rory Gannon from Dead Eurovision site from UK. My question is, how do the experience for Eurovision compare with your time on Idol? Ooh, that's an interesting question. I think Idol, Swedish Idol for me was was a school. It was kind of um, the place the place where I discovered the cameras and the the whole routine when when. You have a song, you have one week to do it, and you get to do uh, like what you want with it. And, and so that was a school for me, and it was a great school, where I, 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 I met you guys there, actually. And so we, we became kind of friends, and uh, so it's so much fun to have the same dancers. I met Sasha Jean-Baptiste there, uh, and she, with Lotta Furbeck, has uh, done the whole uh, performance and the, the whole show. Uh, and uh, I met my sound coach there and my stylist, so I mean, it was a great school and I took some of, of the best from Idol into this. Oh, great. So yeah. you know each other for a couple of years now? Yeah. And let me ask you also some questions. <laughs> How did it feel on stage? Um, it felt uh, great. Uh, the energy is always great with this guy and the team. Um, so, yeah, I mean, every time we step on stage, we're trying to be better. Can someone explain what makes Tusa so so inspiring to work with? Maybe 
You can answer. Okay. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> he has such a big heart, and he always makes sure that we have a lot of fun together. And and it's always that he always has a message with everything he does and say and sing. So it's it's an honor to stand on the stage with you and all of you guys. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> no, he's also a very down-to-earth person, so it's really like easy to connect with him as well. Like, at, at first, I was kind of nervous to get to know him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was already so, was dragging me in, basically, so. I'd like you to have oh. him as well. Tell me more. Tell me. I, paid, I paid for them to say that, so, uh, <laughs> yes. Let, let's good job, move. everybody. Let's continue Send with some name. serious <laughs> questions, okay? Hey, uh, from the people who are here in the room, I think there are a lot, yeah. Go ahead, please stand up, introduce yourself, please, thank you. Hey, Adam. Um, yeah. My name is Neil Barron, I'm from Eurobot.com. Um, first of all, the jackets, I love them, and I may have to steal one. <laughs> uh, Tusa, you have, you're probably one of the most stylish contestants of this year. Um, where do you draw your inspiration from for your personal style? Oh, thank you, that's a great question. Uh, I think. I love, I love clothes, and so uh, I could, you know, in the middle of the night, I just sometimes wake up and I'm like, I need to go web shopping, so it's not like, um, I, I, it's just in my head all the time. Uh, and so I try to wear what makes me feel happy, and, and, and so colors and, and bright stuff like that. Uh, so me and my stylists always have fun with, with clothes, and, uh, and I also have sisters, and they all, all love clothes as well, so I, I, am, I'm, um, I love fashion, so it's, it's just from what makes me happy. Yeah. You forgot to say me. Ah! Well, you copy me, that's not the same thing. <laughs> we have a question for you, the head of delegation. Uh, this is um, from Bauer Media. What have you been discussing in viewing room after his rehearsal? Um, we are still doing you know, some tests and we are still in rehearsal, we are tweaking a little bit, and we are discussing maybe taking on the brightness a little bit in the moment. Ah, a little bit more darkness? Yes. Ah, great, great, thank you. <laughs> Another question, I see a lady over here. Hi, this is, I'm Nina Schipper from the Dutch newspaper. Hi, how? Hi, I have two questions. Two questions. One quick question. Yeah. How is the pressure after so many Swedish winners? <laughs> the pressure is on, and it's, it's, it's a high pressure, I think. Uh, and I actually felt it today. Uh, I felt like um, I need to... It's, there's, there's so much on the line. Uh, it's, an, it's an honor to be here, but it's also a responsibility, and it's... <sighs> I just feel now that I want to forget about all that. I mean, I'm, I have so much respect for every artist before me from Sweden. I mean, they're awesome, all of them. But it's not about them and it's not about me. It's about this, this incredible song that was written for me and that I've had the chance to embody and to make my own and to interpret the way I see uh, that I have to because I think it's a great message for the world. So I, mean, I, I just need to forget about the pressure because I don't, I, don't, I don't think I really care about the results, <laughs> but I care that I'm out there having fun with, with my, my guys, my dancers, and uh, enjoying ourselves, and hopefully inspiring someone out there. there yeah, right? <laughs> um, second question. Yeah. More important. Uh, your vision is all about diversity. Yeah. I think you are the personification of diversity. Uh, how does it feel to be here? <laughs> it's an honor. I mean, uh, as I said previously, it's uh, it was you know growing up, you, I, I didn't have like the 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 um, the pleasure to see people that look like me, uh, you know, on television uh, as as much, and being here and being me, if that helps, that makes an impact on me and that makes, I think, most of us happy that uh, we include everybody and it's great. I mean, I don't, count, I don't wake up every morning thinking, oh, I'm going to represent, I'm just me, and if that's enough, that's great. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for being so open, and I also think you are a big inspiration for all the people who are out there and struggling with their own identity, so thank you for that. Um, more questions 
Go over there. Hi. Hi, Hi. I'm from Polish Radio Newsletter. Hi, so I have a question to you and to you as the head of the delegation. There is no secret about this Eurovision family that recalled that backing vocals is a Swedish idea. And uh, it is into Eurovision uh, due to COVID-19. Do you think it will be kept after all? And to you, the question is how many voices <laughs> you have recorded in your track? Thank you. Uh, I don't know, can you count to a million? Like, it's a hard... <laughs> Do you want to take this question? I don't know. It's, I think we've, we've been, because it's a special year, we couldn't like come down with a choir, which is, is sad, because I love choirs. Uh, but we have, I don't know, I haven't counted them, but um, it's, it's the same like amount that we would have had on stage to elevate the, the whole uh, feeling. So I think we're, we're, uh, we're, we're still uh, trying to make it safe and it, there are of course live vocals from me <laughs> but uh, because it's a song about voices and we have a lot of choirs uh, we we have that also and we also have a, a choir backup, backup vocals vocals. Yeah. with us yeah. did that answer your question I, I don't think anybody we just got more confused after that answer <laughs> i'm sorry do we have more questions from the people who are sitting here we have some time left yes go ahead I'm Stella from EurovisionFound.com. Hi, Stella. And I want to ask you because you are really young and you have already won a lot of competitions. Yeah. Uh, what is your biggest dream right now? Ooh, <laughs> that's a hard question because I'm living my dream right now. Yeah, you know. Um, so I, my biggest dream right now, I think, is just being able to enjoy this one as much as I can. That's my biggest. So is your voice prepared for the semi-final? What do you do to, to take care of your voice? Of course it's prepared. I, I try to, you know, uh, do my, uh, you know, voice exercises, because I have some coach who, who, who is great. Uh, she's not with us right now, but she, she'll be down here uh, before the semi-final. So we're going to work on it, and it's going to be great. I promise you. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Um, Till so far, this was the press conference with Tusse and the Swedish delegation. Thank you very much. Enjoy your stay here in, uh, in Rotterdam. And take care. We're looking forward to see you perform next Tuesday. Um, you can go over there, and I think there are lots of people who want to make some pictures uh, again. <laughs> what about only you? I think in Sweden they say tak.